Every now and then, humanity takes to social media and poses a question so frequent, so burning, that it can only be answered in short video form. And for that, we have HOC Shorts. And today, I'm digging into this porta band table. So let's get going. In all seriousness, I get a load of questions on Instagram and on here about this porta band table, how I built it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So I figured we'd take a few minutes, go through the ins and outs on this, and then you can easily build one for yourself. All right, we should probably start with the size of this thing and a list of materials. I don't even know how big it is. So let's break out the tape measure. It is 14 inches that way by what, 10 and a half there. And then we got 10 and three quarter out across the top of the deck. Now, full list of materials on this, eighth inch plate. It's all I used. And I doubled it up on the top. You can see right there for an effective quarter inch. As we dig in a little closer here, I need you to ignore these welds. This is my first ever TIG welding project, but check it out. You can see I recess this Allen head bolt into the deck here. That actually picks up the horseshoe that's on the bottom of the saw, and that's what holds the front of the saw in. There's no other fasteners in this because out back, there's a tab that recesses into the saw right here. The only other clearance was here around this guard that protects the blade. And then you can see I have two holes in the deck right here and here. They've been threaded and have set screws in them. That allows me to set the blade 90 degrees to the deck by tilting the saw. I'm gonna flip this over and I'll show you guys what's going on on the underside. So right there you can see the horseshoe that's part of the factory saw. The bolt just comes through, it's on a wash and a nut piece of cake. Out back to keep the saw running, I have the trigger depressed with just a basic old Velcro strap, and then there's this. This is just a simple on-off switch foot pedal. You can pick them up on Amazon for I think about 20 bucks. I'll put a link down in the description so you can find them. Basically, this is how this works. Plug the pedal into the wall, the saw into the pedal, and then you're ready to rip. This is, I actually have these on a few tools around here. It's super handy, and uh, just in case something goes wrong, it's also a great dead man switch. Now, like I said before, there's only this one bolt actually holds the saw in. We don't even need to get it all the way loose to get the saw out. That should probably be enough. And then we can just rock the saw right out of its spot. And I wanted to again point out these two set screws because they're a very important part of this build. They're what allows us to get the blade 90 degrees to the deck. When this is locked down, these sort of push down on the saw, allow it to rock and pivot so you can get squared up. And just because I know somebody might ask or be interested, this is what the bottom looks like. That's how the bolt sits through. There's really nothing going on under here. You could make this any way you want it. And I just wanted to point out that bolt one more time. You can see it's got a nice taper in it, which is recessed and clearanced into the deck. That way when we slide the materials across the top, nothing hangs up. Would I build it this way again? Absolutely not. There's two things I'd like to change about this one of which I consider to be a pretty fatal flaw. And that's these side pieces. Where they're out even with the edge of the deck, I can't get a clamp on here. I can't make a stop for repeatable cuts, can't hold down my work in any way. So if I ever did it again, I'd push them in, maybe beef up the top a little bit, and that would take care of that problem. And then there's the deck itself. This one here is actually a little bit bigger than most of the retail ones you can buy out there. And I thought I went enough, I would still go more. There's been times when I'm working on a bigger piece, definitely could have benefited from it. That about covers any question I've ever been asked on this porta band table. But if I did miss one, hit the comment section. I'll be hanging out down there. And I strongly encourage any one of you to build this. Like I said, this is easy. It was my first ever TIG project. You can save a load of money from the retail ones, maybe customize one up to meet your own needs, that sort of thing. So with that said, this is definitely a wrap. First HOC short, let me know what you think. Subscribe, ring the notification bell, give me a thumbs up if you would, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. That beautiful job.